Historically, water has played as central a role in the development of the San Francisco Bay Area as gold itself. With the gold rush, San Francisco grew almost overnight from a frontier town to a bustling city of 40,000. Water was in short supply and unreliable, transported by mules and sold on the streets by the bucket. Between 1849 and 1856, the city burned to the ground at least six times. As the local water supply continued to lag behind demand, water shortages focused attention on the Spring Valley Water Company, who, by the late 1800s, monopolized San Francisco's water supply. By 1900, the public was clamoring for San Francisco to take over Spring Valley Water Company. But first, nature struck. The 1906 earthquake shattered water mains in seconds. Within hours, much of the city was engulfed in flames. Determined never to let San Francisco burn again, the city rebuilt. And the challenge of the day was for the city to develop its own reliable municipal water system. Surveys by city engineers determined Hetch Hetchy Valley, just inside Yosemite National Park, was the optimal site for a reservoir. After many years of debate, Congress passed the Raker Act in 1913. San Francisco's city engineer, Michael O'Shaughnessy, was chosen to lead the project. His mission was to build a monumental public works program that would supply high quality, reliable water and clean hydropower to San Francisco and cities around the Bay for decades to come. The reservoir site was completely inaccessible, so the first thing he did was build a road, followed by a 56 mile railway system, carting men and supplies for the 20 years that construction lasted. The O'Shaughnessy Dam was the world's tallest ever constructed at its time. The Coast Range Tunnel was the world's longest tunnel. O'Shaughnessy was building an engineering marvel to rival the Golden Gate Bridge, also under construction at the same time. Through World War I, the Hetch Hetchy Project crossed the Great Central Valley while the Great Depression brought the nation to a standstill. Amidst a faltering economy, one of the country's largest and most complicated public works projects kept many employed. In 1934, Sierra Water arrived at Crystal Springs Reservoir through the Pulgas Temple amidst cheers of thousands. Notably absent was Michael O'Shaughnessy, who died just two weeks before his final engineering masterpiece brought its first water to the Bay Area. 167 miles from its source.